Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Sal Play Star Trek Online. Here we are on the Dragon's Deceit, as we try and find out about the Super Vodwar. As usual, I'm joined by Drake, and uh, let's begin. Let's also see if we can both join this instance, because we are a bit suspicious. It is a um, single instance only, but we'll see. You also get in the weight simulator, Drake. Yes, I am. <laughs> Fine, I'll no. just cut this out in post. <laughs> or I might not, seeing as we, we were both amused. You depends say amused. On. Ah, it depends how long it goes on for, to be fair. Oh, 32%. Oh, yeah, I just jumped as well. Hey, here we go. Ah, uh, you know what that means, guys. We're in this spectre of space, and you're not here with me. Yeah, it's a single player single one. Single instance, like that suspected. is fine. We shall just basically commentate as we go. Um. Oh, he's above me. To the Voyager. Which was, it's such a small ship but that I genuinely couldn't, I thought it was behind the rock. <laughs> I say it's small compared to like the massive starship I am flying. Hmm. several modifications to our weapons that may counteract their ability to reflect a portion of energy directed at them. Oh, nice. I have provided the specifications to your crew. Cool. Not yet. Chief Engineer, start modifying our weapons. They have the answers we seek. Yeah. Now, officially, Cartella is a defunct mining colony. However, intercepted messages indicate that the lower levels of the facility are being... Okay, we're apparently escorting Voyager. Okay, that's fine. Uh, in that case... The Hazari will provide a modified hollow emitter should allow you to approach the planet. Hollow technology is unfamiliar to the bot water. Which means that is an entirely great advantage we can use against them. Ooh, if you've got a science officer, that'd be absolutely brilliant. Just keep deploying holographic fleets to confuse them. If you don't want to blow this whole deal, help me with these bot wars. Time to use my new turrets. You need turrets? Oh, I just like having them as an option to harass enemies. It's like uh, you ever played um, Pathfinder Kingmaker? No, I haven't. Uh, fair enough. Uh, well, there's a class on it called Sylvan Sorcerer. And each so at first level you get an Thanks animal companion. But don't expect a discount. I wouldn't have been in that mess if I hadn't been waiting here for you. It was my own fault. I should have activated it before I entered the system. But hooking it into our power supply was more complicated than Quinn said it would be. Voyager will remain here with Yadren. With your permission, I will beam over to you. Yeah, come aboard to Vok as per usual. But yeah, um, I essentially gave at least half of my party one level of Sylvan Sorcerer, so they all got a free animal companion, so I could just use them to um, essentially micromanage the battlefield. Fair enough. Those trolls did not know what hit them when suddenly four mammoths went after them. <laughs> we have arrived at Cartella Prime. Your engineers have installed the hollow emitter. And it is ready to. Our first task is to bypass the automated security perimeter. Hey, I'm looking like a Vodwar ship now. I'm still going to deploy some. What's this? Uh, next one in the sequence.
I don't want to mess this up. Oh, no, I actually got that right. Increase by 4, increase by 6, increase by 10. Attention, unidentified ship. This is a restricted okay, so area. 42 plus we have disabled your engines and we are towing you to the edge eight, of the Coctella system. Eight. No, no, apparently I'm being towed to the edge of the system now. Fun for you. Hmm? What? Uh, I suppose you've got to get this right until you've done it, yeah. <laughs> What's that traffic control? If you try and bypass the satellites, it don't work. No, oh, no, that was two. Okay. Oh, oh it's a hollow room to research racing. That's brilliant. We have successfully breached the security perimeter. Next, we will be challenged by the orbital uh -huh. traffic control. Unidentified vessel. Your transponder may be malfunctioning. Please transmit your ship designation and flight plan. That's why you play an engineer. <laughs> I was able to avoid the power fluctuation with my engineering skill. <laughs> Our diagnostics are showing green across the board. What is your ship's origin and flight plan designation? We're about to see you. I'm currently arguing with the traffic controller. Ah, oh, fair enough. I got through that straight away. I'm just more Vatwa, clearly. It's been a thousand years since I met somebody so beautiful. Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull rank. I cannot clear a vessel without an authenticated transponder code. I will dispatch an engineering crew to assist with your repairs, but you cannot dock without authorization. Now, when you're ready to beam down, <laughs> you're cleared for docking, sir. Eh. Now we must avoid detection from the Vod warships. The hollow emitter will be essential. Oh, damn it, the yellow emit has gone off on. <laughs> Nope, that is not where we want to go. Where's this derelict ship? Where I was happy as an engineer, I was able to just fix it with my engineering belts. <laughs> Oh wow, I've got to go through a lot of security. <laughs> All right, let's engage our um, emergency thrusters just in case they catch up with us. Have you drew attention of bad watch? Not yet. I'm trying to find the derelict ship. The trouble is, it's so damn small. Ah, got it. And there's so this many should be around. To repair the hollow emitter. Right, now time to sneak onto the planet. Let me know when you're close enough to beam down because I'm waiting so I don't get planet. too far ahead of you. Yep, yeah, I am. I've just beamed down. Okay. You are just outside of the Vodwar security perimeter. I have accessed their internal sensors, so I will provide... Be sure that the patrol... 
Are you sure the patrols don't see me? What? Uh, Socialised equipment crates. Da, 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 da. Yeah, steal that. I am detecting a bot war patrol ahead. Maintain your position until they pass. Oh, so I can't just destroy them with my cannons and turret Jesus. Fine. I think the idea is that we're supposed to be stealthy. That should keep the patrol occupied. Although I'll repeat what I said in an earlier episode if it was picked up. That um, it's still stealth if no one's around to say that you were there. Yeah, if there's no survivors, they won't know. Although, when people turn up, they'll be like, what happened to this base? By that point, you've already left. Yeah, but now they know the enemy would know. If you overload that data tower, the Bodwar patrol will investigate. Program the door to seal them in. Okay. Alert. Conduit malfunction on level 2 section beta. Engineering teams respond immediately. Well, that's one way of doing it. Proceed cautiously. Just lock the second security team in another door. Mm. Actually, the one thing I'm looking forward to is one of the um. Right. You will need a grapple gun to cross it. Man, I moved quickly. You will need to incapacitate all of the bonfire ahead. Insert the anesthesine gas canister I provided you in the environmental control console and alter the air composition. Won't that also knock me out because I'm not wearing a gas mask? <laughs> Apparently, no. <laughs> Apparently, it's localised to that one area. Alert. Environmental control malfunction on level 2, section Delta 3. Engineering and medical teams, please respond. Alright, let's keep that all before they wake up. Casually repelling we'll down the wall. Down. Yep. Oh, this goes deep. This is a deep mine. Oh, we've also got fauna in here as well. Interesting. Ooh. So what you're saying is Okay T Rock, we'll take advantage of the environment if we can. Shoot a grapple across and then zip line down. Sneak up behind that zip lining down. Further through the cave, we'll need to disable the proximity sensors. That console should allow you to do so. I mean, that was the most elegant way of doing it. <laughs> He's like, You gotta take out the guard. Cool, I'll just blast him, shall I? Nobody heard. I have that many ropes attached to me currently. In order to exit this cavern without protection, you will need a distraction. Distraction, you say? So, a grenade? We will need to move the Bodwar guards below and ahead of you. Oh, oh dear, I love it. The way is clear for you to grapple to the next support structure. Make your way across the legends to the outcropping near the next support structure. This is where I'm going to run into more guards, isn't it? Line down. Approach the guard. Approach the guard and disable. 
Oops, okay. snap that help. Ah, time to respawn. It says to approach him and disable him, but then it doesn't like give me a stealth takedown that I end up just shooting him anyway. Oh, you, you're you a little bit behind me then. That's what I did. I just was like, okay, I'll just shoot him. <laughs> well, that's the second stealth. guy I just said to do it with. Yeah. I'm extending the walkway. Hopefully we won't do that a third time. But hey, apparently I've just become a space marine. Looking before leaping is now not in my MO. Right. Ah, okay. I am an idiot. But hey, we already knew this. I've been a bit derpy when fighting the Lodwell. And somehow they've not annihilated me. Grapple to the next support structure. We're getting there, we're nearly at the bottom. Approach the guard and disable him. Okay, mine's glitched out a bit. Because <laughs> I activated the turrets to like kill the bad one, and there's still one guy who's just stood here, but it's completely ignoring my presence. <laughs> hmm. There are more Interesting. guards at the other platform. There's three guys who stood here completely ignoring my presence. And I can't shoot or anything then, so. Yeah. I will continue on. Safe in the knowledge I am now invisible. Malfunctioning turrets on level 4, section beta 2. Security and engineering team, report immediately to level 4. The walkway is offline. We'll need to grapple across the gap. They are aware of your actions. You cannot delay. Sensors are reading something large blocking your route through the cavern. Activate the crane with the nearby controls to move it. It's probably whatever they're holding the super Vodwar from Not using this crane. There is another grapple ahead. Right, hopefully this is the final grapple this time. Nope, there'll be one more. Zip line time. There should be a place where you can drop down just ahead of your current position. Now slip quietly out of the cavern before the Vodwar see you. Quietly but quickly. Okay. I am detecting some unusual signals coming from below this area. Distract the bodyguard. Okay. Can't just blast him then. Well, that's ruined his day. Hello, it's me. Your friendly neighborhood Starfleet officer here Intruder to ruin your alert. day. Commander Gallic, please respond. Yeah, I've just taken the lead route. An intruder? Let me guess, he's going to be a super vaudois too. Yeah, it went down relatively easy for me, honestly. Yep, I'll just use my uh, my lightning on him and I'll just spawn in my turrets. Boom. Yep, hello. This 
This looks interesting. Finally. Oh. Hello. You're interesting. Gallic? Yeah, I'd like to get shot. What? I don't really know. Oh, bluegills. Shoot it. Shoot it. Well, they know we're here. Was that thing? Well, that was something that once tried to bring down the Federation. <sighs> you saved my life. I don't know why, but I am grateful. Was that thing? It crawled out of the commander. Was it? Never. It's some kind of parasite, isn't it? What do you know? Propelling down another wall. Other members of the Vaudoir are infected by these beasts. Could all of our leaders be Face the contaminated? I know my duty. I cannot allow you to wander freely through our compound. I, can't <laughs> I think it went down that passage. Congratulations, you've been deputized, Mr. Vaudoir. Let's just nick the uh, the items that dropped. Uh, oh, engineering kit. No, never mind. Diagnostics. I have no need for it. No, I'm actually going the wrong way. It went down one of the cracks in the rock. We'll have to deactivate that force field to pursue it. Well, this is probably not going to end well. Very kind of him to escort me around this facility, isn't it? The question is, though, did I give him back his pistol? Because if not, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Have the engineers disassemble that, find out some weaknesses in their technology. I mean, it's an idea. It appears the creature has already left the area. I would recommend you scan the area with your tricorder. Yep. That's not a bad idea too, but let's scan the area. There you are. I didn't know these caves were so extensive. Only the highest and That's an endeavor done for the day. Hmm? I had to harvest two grounds of it. Two ground um, materials as part of my endeavors for today. How did the Vod War yeah, come into contact with parasites? first place. It has been many years since Starfleet encountered them. I wonder how many of our leaders have been infected. Surely Gala can't be the only one. Two seconds. Ah. Let's scan this all. Was that your personal endeavour or was it the daily one? Uh, personal. 
Yeah, fair enough. The daily one, was, the universal one, was earn like five thousand fleet credits. <laughs> oh, I can do that quite easily. Based on Star yeah, I did. Yeah, that basically, guys, personal endeavors are little give rewards enemy, that will face to face. give you points this towards extra abilities and stuff that can be added to all characters on your account. So they're incremental. They are in benefits to your characters. Creatures nearly ended the Federation. Plus you'll also get bonuses like extra marks or tech upgrades or all Although sorts. we have had our differences with the Vanwar, the Federation do not wish to see any species enslaved. Well, that's why the Federation is noble, Tuvok. They care about anyone, everyone, including their enemies. Also, why they're slightly insidious. <laughs> this area hit like root beer. You drink enough of it, it grows on you. It's so cool and bubbly, just like the Federation. You drink enough of it, you start to like it. I may have just misquaffed that. That is actually a quote between Garrick and Cork from an episode of DS9. Oh, that's pretty. Mm. The lovely creature that's just come out the guy's chest. Ah, oh, the blue grip. Oh, wait, how far are you? I've just defeated the boss at the end of the cavern. Yeah, I'm not actually seeing anybody. I've got scan can uh, canisters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just a little bit in front of it. Ah, when in doubt, use the Wayfinder. This is a lot of, uh... What was that thing? Wait. There we go. Did you hear something? Yeah. Investigate noise. This isn't going to end well. Ah, I see you've met my little friends. They want to get to know you better. What are you? How far has this infestation spread? You have such a small mind. The joining will help. Yep, yeah, and we're about to try and get affected. We infected. Once we are brothers have an escape. Yeah. Has he pulled out a weapon to help me? He has. He's got a cannon of some kind. Well, then you know what time it is, turret time. Hey, you're not so tough now, are you? Plasma before it kills me. And it shall be the return of Turret Jesus. The second coming. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Think he's dead. This ends now. I cannot allow you to spread this infestation. Oh, lovely! It's actually fully matured. It is worse than a xenomorph in some regards. <laughs> Although I will say the Xenomorph is actually better designed in terms of look, whoa, what the? Yep. The Xenomorph is most definitely more aesthetically pleasing than whatever the hell these things are. There you 
are. Enjoy lightning and turrets. Oh, and it's now burst. It's turned into a brute mother, hasn't it? Yes. Yes, it has. Or a queen in this case. That's how bad it is. I'm actually having to use multiple abilities to deal with it. Space scattering field and disable them. And they'll be around here somewhere. In that direction. Oh, they're right there, hidden. Just out of view. <laughs> or even allies. No, I must remain with my people. Perhaps I will discover more of what's really happening here. Your activities on the surface have alerted the Bodwar to your presence. Now, let's beam up and get the hell out of here before we get destroyed. Although, hopefully that hollow emitter is still working perfectly. The information you discovered in huh. space. Apparently, we got out there easily. While Starfleet knew the neural parasites found on Earth sent a signal to deep space before they were destroyed, we never knew the destination of that signal. It very well may have been the Delta Quadrant. However, contemplating the ramifications of parasites among the Bodwar ranks must wait. The fleet protecting this planet has been alerted to our presence. It is only a matter of time before this vessel is discovered. So, what you're saying is. Get the hell out of here quickly, Tuvok. And so I'm going to fly straight through. Unidentified vessel. Your transponder. There is only a 0.008% chance that this ship will survive a direct. And that's why I'm going to run, Tuvok. Right, swap transponder codes. With what? Okay, let's get out of here while they blow up that ship. Some of the Bogwar have been taken over by the neural parasites. Yeah, go back to Voyager 2 Vok. We'll uh, find out the next best plan. Thank you again. Yep, Live no long. Worries. All right, let's get out of here and wrap this episode up, guys. This has been. Uh, Slightly longer than the last few, but slightly less than some of our episodes. Alright, wait to Commander Burgess to get back in touch with us. The existence of the neural parasites certainly explains the unusual physical abilities of the Bagwar, and perhaps their rapid return to prominence in the sector. You managed to take out two of their overseers, but I expect that more of their leadership has been infected. Perhaps this Commander Eldax can persuade more of his people to rebel against the infected Bogwar from within. Hmm. But until then, we'll need to muster our allies and prepare to deal with this threat. We're not just facing the Bogwar anymore. Hmm. Interesting turn of events, uh, eh? Would you say, Drake? Have time to look into something mm -hmm. Yes. Lovely turn of events. The data events. from your mission against the Bogwar shows they're a bigger threat than we ever anticipated. Our forces are stretched thin. The Alpha Quadrant Alliance cannot fight a prolonged conflict in the Delta Quadrant. We must work to form an alliance of species here. 
Admiral Tuvok and Captain Kim are working on a plan and have requested your assistance. Okay, well, it looks like we'll be building an alliance next episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and have a good day. And we'll see you next time.